I just created a class called main. Within main, there are one, two, and three methods. The first method we've discussed before. This is the double under init. This is the double under set. And this is the double under get methods. When the init method gets initialized, it's going to do two things. It will assign a blank to self.value, an internal variable, and it will print out onto the screen this text. The next one is double under set. We're only interested in this parameter, value. It will print before self.value, this guy here, had I'm going to print out the data contained in self.value. Then I'm going to assign the value that we just passed to self.value, this internal variable. Then I'm going to print out, but now you just set a, and then the data in self.value that we just put into it, into it. It was this, but now it's this. The print command will cause double underscore get to execute. And it simply returns print. The print statement runs me, Mr. Get. And who am I? I am a... And then it prints out the string version of self.value, which is the variable we defined in the double init function. And then to which we assigned a value in the double under set method. Now, let's go to the next step. In this step, I key in another class. I'll call it class de. That's the second class. We've got main, and then here's de, the second class. In it, I'm going to take the main class here. I'm going to assign that to a variable, an internal variable to class de. And that internal variable is called main. When I do that, and I hit the enter key twice, then this will automatically execute the init method of the main class. And it will say, d equals main command. That's this guy here, main equals main. Just initialized me. And that will set a blank into the internal variable self.value. Let's see if that is indeed what occurs. I hit the enter key once, twice, and oh, it just initialized this guy. D equals main command just initialized me. Wow. Now I have one class's variable linked to the main class. Now let's take it to the next step. I'm going to take a variable, g. g is equal to this class. So g will be linked to d, whose internal variable will be linked to main, this guy up here. So g equals deux, open, close, parens, and I hit enter. No errors. That's wonderful. Now, let's key in f dot main, who is linked to our target method up here. f dot main, that's a variable, so I don't put in parens, equals 10. That is, in fact, handing 10 over to this class. That will trigger the execution of this method. It will say now, print before self.value had, and a blank, because we didn't have anything in it, because it just initialized it. And then we'll take value, the value that gets automatically passed to the double under set method, and it will assign that to the local variable self.value. Then the third statement here says, we'll print out, but now you just set a something that will be 10 into it. That's what's going to happen. This is what it had before. After the assignment, this is what it now has. That's what's going to happen. Let's be daring. 
and put a 100 in there. I hit enter. Oh, when I get an error, because I just used the wrong variable, f. I was supposed to use the variable g. That was very smart of me. Let's change that back to g. <laughs> g dot main equals 100. And I hit enter. Oh, before, self dot value had and a blank. But now you just set a 100 into it. So this command triggered the execution of the double under set method. Hmm. I wonder what will trigger the execution of the double under get method. Let's go and experiment. Scooch on down here. I'm going to print g dot main and main should I put open close friends here? No, because main is a what? It's a variable within class de. So g dot main close friends. I print it out. It accesses the main class that will cause the system to jump up to class main and execute the double under get method, which will then return. The print statement is the guy who runs me, me, Mr. Get. And I'm going to go get the string version of self.value. Let's see what, what happens now. Print g.main. And I hit enter. And, oh, what does it say? Print this guy here runs me. Runs who? Mr. Get. What did Mr. Get? Get. He got a 100. The point of all of that was that print triggers the execution of the double under get method in class main. An assignment statement, g.main equals 100, triggers the execution of the double under set method in our class main. And assigning the internal variable of class do's main to the class main itself triggers the execution of the double under init method in class main. I hope that was helpful.